Hi, thank you for clicking on my video. I am Bethann of Bethann Stamps, and this week I am making some cards with the Let's Set Sell um, Stamp Set and Punch, which is available in the bundle. I believe it's on page 80 of the annual catalog. I figure you know summer is coming to an end rather quickly here, isn't it? And so why not get this boat out in advance of Labor Day weekend. And so let's take a look at this. I'm gonna make two cards today. And the first one is a rather simple card. It has, the front is cut up and decorated with ink. And then on the inside, let your dream set sail. So we're gonna go ahead and work on this one. We are starting with, I want to say smoky slate cardstock. I'm positive that's what it is. So it's a standard five and a half by eight and a half scored at that four and a quarter. And then the front is made up of three pieces of paper. They are all three the same width. And these all dimensions will all be in my coordinating blog below. So there are three, I think, in seven eighths width. But then two of them are one and a half, and the middle one's a little bit um, taller. It's a quarter inch taller, so that would be one and three quarters. So the first thing we're gonna do is we wanna design that background. And of course, I forgot my paper for stamping off. You know, you always have to have that paper to stamp off with, right? So let me just... Hold this up here real quick. I'll set it beside. I'm using my um, stamp and piercing mat since I'm using photopolymer stamps. I'm pulling in pull party. So I'm just going to ink up this. Oop. You know what? That's not stamping very well since it's not on a pad. And I really need that anyway since my stamp is larger than my pieces of paper. So let's try this again. Stamp it off. And then I'm going to... I just want that hint of color. I'm going to do each of these twice to give it that nice background look. I love these texture stamps. There we go. Stamp off again. Very nice. We'll do this one more time on the top piece. My husband keeps telling me he wants a boat. I am not a big water fan, so I don't want a boat, but I told him if he builds me a swimming pool in the backyard, then I'll get him a remote control boat that he can run around the pool. I thought it sounded like a fair trade but he's not going for it so this is the only kind of boat I have right here is on paper all right so we have these three pieces to build this before I put them down on my card front I want to add some of the elements to it so I am going to get the birds and I'm bringing in basic gray ink and one of the things you want to learn we did this in one of my stamp classes is double check that you have the birds in the upright position. So I'm going to put some birds here, maybe a couple over here. Some of those may end up behind my boat and that's okay. And then on the front, I'm using the Adventure Awaits stamp. So I'm going to ink that up and I'm going to put it down here in this corner. There we go. And I'm also going to bring in my inside of my card and in the same um, basic gray, I'm going to do let's let your dream set sail and I'm going to put that right in the middle here. And I also want a couple of birds. So again, I'm going to make sure I have that right side up. I'm just going to put a couple birds around there. Okay, 
So we have that inside just about ready. We still wanna do a couple of other things with it, but we're gonna work on our boat. So I found this easier being that I'm using the white to create my boat. I am going to lay these on my piercing mat again, not only because it um, works better with these photopolymer, but then I can see the outside outline of my pieces because these ones I'm going to stamp before I punch them. So let's get, oh, I have it in my hand, that basic gray, and we're gonna do the mast and the boat. And you can see, I'm gonna pull this into my headshot here. Let's see, I think I got it. Close enough. And then for the cells, I'm gonna do those in real red. And it helps to be right over top of that. Let's see. That came up great. Let's try this one. Now you can do these either way. For my second card, I did them the other way. I punched them, or I inked them and then punched them. But for this one, if you feel that that mask is a little off, I can just grab my gray pen and add a little more color here. It's my basic gray working. And if I don't like it, I can always Let's see. Nope. So we're going to do it a different way then. I'm going to grab another little piece of basic white. Just grab my, and then I'll stamp it. I always keep scraps in their own folders so they're easy to grab. There we go. And then we will put this in the punch. doesn't want to make that angle, so I'm going to trim that off a little. Let's see. Okay. So there we have it. So you can do it either way, whatever you're more comfortable with, or if you end up like me, you do it both ways for the same card. Okay, let me bring my card base back in. I am going to start and make sure I have my pieces lined up. I'm gonna start and attach the top and the bottom piece. And you can see they're not perfectly straight. I love things that go together crooked sometimes because that are intentionally crooked because I usually end up making them crooked anyway. So this always works in my favor. Okay. So, let's see, just put that down there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom because if any of them are going to overlap, I want it to be that center piece that overlaps the other two. And then, there we go. Each one looks a little different. Now, before I put my boat down, I wanna put it here to know where it's going to go. Because in this set, is this little like shadow that the boat creates on the water. And so I wanna put that down. I'm gonna bring back in my pool party. I'm gonna ink up my stamp and that's where I want my boat to go. So I'm gonna ink it in full strength. And because we did that stamp off, you're gonna see it. And then I'm just gonna go a little bit to the right and try to do a secondary image. Let's see, 
I don't want it all the way stamped off, but there we go. So you get that double. Why I have this out, I'm going to do the same thing on the inside. Stamp under my sentiment, move it over a little bit, and do that secondary stamp. There we go. Okay. We'll put those away. Now, you could have, before you punch these out, use some of those um, sticky sheets on here. I just, because I transfer my glue to a fine tip bottle, I don't mind gluing them down. I didn't want to try to put these up on dimensionals because that boat is so thin. There we go. And we'll put the inside in. And then I pulled out, I think as crafters, we always end up pulling out, just cleaning my stamp sets off here for the next card. I think we always end up with a lot of extra product. So sometimes I will be honest with you, I do use some retired products on my cards. These ones happen to be uh, Subtle Shimmer Sequences. I really liked how they look. So I'm just gonna put a couple tiny glue dots here. And then I'll use the Picket Tool to pick these up. And they have clear, silver. So I'm just going in and picking some up. I'm not gonna stress over if they get the clear or the silver and there we go adventure awaits let your dream set sail that's even good for somebody that's going off to college this fall so i know a lot of them have already gone to school some of them are arriving within the next couple of weeks so that's card number one you can also don't forget to decorate your envelope. I just um, stamped the same color boat on the outside with some of the birds. Let's bring in the second card. The second card's a little simpler, even though that one was very simple. I'm using designer series paper to do the heavy work for me. I don't have to build the background. Now, this paper um, was available right before the annual catalog came out. It's called Waves of Ocean. It was a limited set. But again, I have so much paper and other products that I do occasionally pull them out and use them in my cards. So look in your stash and see what you have. I just think um, this paper was so gorgeous. I've used it on many different things. So with this one, again, we're using that five and a half by the eight and a half. Um, this is basic or basic white thick, scored at that four and a quarter. I did do some birds on the inside here in Night of Navy and just a piece of that uh, designer series paper, pattern paper to bring that continuity inside. On the outside of the card, I do have two layers. This first one, again, is from that same paper. It was a uh, foil. This is a, I think this one is the Knight of Navy or Pacific Point. These are cut at five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And then the DSP pattern paper, designer series paper. I think people call them different things. Stampin' Up! does call them DSP for designer series paper. So we're gonna attach that, letting this paper do a lot of the work for us. I will put this down on the card front. All right, so there we go. And then for my boat this time, I did pre-stamp them and punch them out. I stamped with Calypso Coral ink on Calypso Coral paper. I even stamped myself there. 
And then for the cell, I really wanted this to pop off the page. So I'm using Daffodil Delight. And we're just gonna put this down on the front of our card. And just place it anywhere you would like. Just trying to keep this one simple. There we go. I think these colors really pop off that boat and that the waves give it that imitation of motion. And then using um, the stitched rectangle dies, I use this small heavy one here. I just stamped Hope It's Your Best Day Ever. This one I did in Night of, Avi Night of Navy ink, but I decided to use the Calypso Coral on the second card to match those cells. And I'm leaving the inside blank intentionally because I could write happy birthday in there, happy retirement in there. There are so many different things you can write on a blank note card. And then for these ones though, I did pull in on this one, um, the rhinestone gems. And so we'll just put a couple of these in here. What about you? Do you like the water? Do you like to go sailing? Here we go. Pretty basic card. So those are our cards this week with that Let's Set Sell. And, and you can do the same thing on an envelope here for this one with that Calypso Coral and Daffodil Delight. But I hope you liked the video this week. It was short and sweet. Um, let me know what you think. Please give me um, a thumbs up down there below and hit that subscribe button. Um, my subscriber list is growing as I'm rather new at this. And so I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your week to watch my videos. I hope they bring you some sort of inspiration. Um, and if you are in need of a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or you have any questions at all about uh, the products I'm using or what I'm making, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you with that. So with that, thank you. Have a great rest of your week and enjoy the upcoming holiday. Bye-bye.